Hello? Hey, so how you doing? Hey, Ike, how are you? I'm good. Wow, how's Banks? He's good. How's it going, Ike? I'm doing great. Uh, well, firstly, I heard something this morning that I uh, just announced, and they had phase one. You definitely have to reduce the numbers. I know you want to do 300, and I know you want to invite everybody that's had an impact in your life, but this is going to be difficult to do. It's not everybody can come. We need to cut a lot of people. It's not easy, I know. COVID has brought a lot of stuff down. And we'll still make it work. The good news is you still get married. It's going to be a wonderful day. You can have loved ones around you and make it through. Let's work with what we know, and that is doing 50%, which is currently the venue can sit about 350 or so. So we can do 150 at a venue. And we'll be doing six people per table. It's mayhem going on right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially as we're getting closer to the November dates, I think that's when things seem like it was almost falling apart even that much more quicker. Yes. What were we going to do? And so we had to downsize our wedding. And so that means that a lot of people who we thought were going to be able to come can't come. You know, we had a very big list and we literally had to cut it down to nearly not even half uh, less than half um to really accommodate everyone that still made this day go and at the same time yeah so uh the news and you know it's you know it's bittersweet you know i'm, I'm going to have a son and i currently have a pregnant wife but um due to the corona um, and my son being born uh, towards the end of september the wedding at the time frame it is you know i bex and i you know talked about the whole situation and how I had to pull out as being a groomsman. You know, I told him how, how honored I was to be a part of the whole situation as I just came and had my own wedding and big face was there and flow. But um, given the circumstances, um, you know, I, I, I was in a balancing effect and it just didn't feel comfortable. So I had a lot of weight on my chest to come up and, and tell base about the whole situation. But due to the respect that we have for one another, the man to man uh, relationship and from day one, you know, he understood and, um, we still good. I'm still here right now. So as far as my wedding is concerned, it's been it's been it's been good as far as like, you know, planning the wedding, working with our travel agents because we're you know, we're getting married in, in Jamaica. Um, honestly, it's the people that's a part of, that's invited to the wedding that's having a hard time. You know, you were notified a year ago and you still haven't gotten your passport now. Oh. We're in the midst of this, you know, pandemic. But, you know, not only that, you know, I have family members that are scared. I have family members, you know, elders that can't make it. I'm down to one grandparent now that's coming to my wedding. It's getting rough. It's definitely getting rough. Um, and we're afraid to reschedule because, you know, you never know what could happen. My fiance just lost her uncle a month ago. And we were just breaking bread two weeks prior. He was completely fine. So, uh, it's been, I'm not gonna lie, it's been, it's been a rough road right now. Um, but in, you know, in the midst of all of this, you know, I wouldn't miss you guys wedding for the world. Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm, thank God that, you know, my, you know, I lost my father a year ago and right after he left me, he put me in a position where I'm blessed to be able to afford a wedding and come to yours at the same time. I had two groomsmen who actually had babies during during COVID, during this process of me leading up to getting married, uh, one of my friends be a groomsman in, my, in, in the wedding as we thought he was going to because of that. Another friend, he was able to push through and actually him and his wife actually both made. But uh, it was a lot of unknowns that were going on during this time. COVID is something that we're all experiencing for the first time all together. And uh, just understanding some people, the precautions that they wanted to take where it varies from person to person. It's just being understanding of each person's situation of what they have going on. I think that was the most important thing because definitely we want to throw away a relationship over one day, uh, no matter even how important that day was. But uh, we were, I, I was definitely appreciative, appreciative of the fact that we're able to have these conversations with enough time for me to do what I need to do on my end to make replacements and let's continue to plan to move forward. It wasn't something that necessarily just held me back and I couldn't move move one way or another. So definitely appreciate Jaren for definitely having that man-to-man -man conversation with me and 
shout out to Paul for pushing through. Shout out to his wife Ashley for allowing him and even showing up yeah. uh, to the wedding as well. So thank y'all. Man, it wouldn't have been, it really wouldn't have been what it was without uh, without Paul. So. Without you, Paul. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we so, appreciate you. Although there was a lot of variables that were outside of my control during the planning of the wedding, I couldn't allow the noise to distract me from the goal at hand. I still need to get myself suited and booted for the big day. So I asked a couple of the fellas for some assistance to help me pick out a few outfits to get me right. Sure about the, 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 the purple heart star on the side. <laughs> you ain't feeling that too much. Hey, you ain't even wore a vest. I ain't, I ain't a vet. Okay. But the green from there, I think what would really make that pop if you go with something like this navy, like a dark, 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 dark green. Mm -hmm. The Nigerian flag. You got the green on the outside, white, green, piping going down the whole way. Now, that's what. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm, I'm messing with this purple joint. Because uh, uh, it got that blend like that purple reddish and the blue. Yeah. Uh, the white trim is, is cool, yeah. that'll pop. Uh -huh. Now the pennant, the top pennant they got, I like that. The other one, I think that's like a B. I might change that one out. Right. So I might change that out to something. I, are you a bow tie brother for your for I am a bow tie brother. I mean, her dress is white over here. Her dress, yeah, her dress is white. Yeah. So she did translate with the person uh, in <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This right here, you he like Pinky from uh, Friday. <laughs> Which one you feeling with? Which one you rocking with? I'm rocking with that black and gold one right now. Oh, that show is clean though. Still good clean. What you what, what type of type of energies and vibes that's gonna give you though? I mean, so first of all, I mean, you get married, so you gotta show out. Definitely. And this one right here has a gold, has the lapels with the, the floral print on it. Mm. Right now, suede. He's working more important. Yeah, 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 that's your business. Velvet. Man. That's your business, man. Whatever that is. Yeah, what is this, velvet? <laughs> So, I mean, you got to come real clean with that, man. I'm not sure what the color of the pants, but I, I would assume the pants would be black with that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean. How you feel the ruffles, though? Why you choose this? Why you think this one? Man, this joint right here is nice, man. The whole oh, fit. Turn it around, turn it around, turn, turn it around. around. Yeah. Let the people see it. Let the people see it. Yeah, How much man. is this suit action? I got it. They got a little trench coat action right there, that too. That combination comes with the uh, vest inside and pants. That would be a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? It look like you look, you look like money. Yeah, this this right here look real classy. You know what I mean? It's different. Look how they got the tag game. I mean, it, it definitely separate them from the the pack. Man of the hour, man. This that's real nice. I think my man going with this classic cocaine, classic man, classic suit. I think she. I think he's going with this one. Okay, so we're less than two months away, and uh, I'm excited. My brother's marrying the love of his life, and uh, just to actually be here is making me reminisce about the times when me and him always had these conversations about love and growth. And uh, to actually be experiencing this moment now uh, means very dear to me. So, Mari coming soon. This, this single breasted suit like this, like this before my life. And uh, I definitely knew myself whenever I was gonna go out, I knew I was going out flat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So all right, all right. That's something that I, I always knew about myself. And 
he definitely has endless flavors in here. A lot of different flavors. At that time, some of these flavors you see weren't in here at the time. So I think maybe if I were to do it again, I might see choose something different, but even still, I love the way this thing right here. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know ain't nobody, yeah. ain't nobody gonna say they got married to somebody like this. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 We, we, we doing it different, so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Stand for approval. Yeah. 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 Thank y'all for y'all time coming out here, coming out for work, meet traffic, all the uh, other responsibilities you guys have. You guys make time, you guys keep everything for me. Man, this whole adventure has definitely been memorable. We shared a lot of different memories, a lot of a lot of life experiences, man. I just can't thank each and every one of y'all for being here with me. And uh, man, Marty coming soon, Marty at last. Yeah, I'm serious, y'all have no idea what we got planned for y'all. Y'all don't know this. We just scratching the surface, sir. So, uh, a lot of more surprises to come. Love y'all. Thank you. Thank you, too, bro. Marty coming soon! Anybody that knows me knows I'm into my fashion. And I'm all about looking good, feeling good, going into this wedding situation. I feel like men and women are a little bit different. I never envisioned as to what I was gonna wear when that day came for me. The only thing I didn't know was I was gonna be fly. Shout out to Real Fairy Tales for plugging me in with Stan Lyon. And uh, he has a shop out Laurel we're able to go to. Uh, found my style, found, found the two tuxes that I decided to wear uh, for our uh, white wedding ceremony. And it was quite an experience. Uh, once again, I, for me personally, I never like looking like the next man, so I'm not a cookie cutter type guy, so traditional black tux, bow tie type, that's not, that wasn't going to work for me. Uh, and Stan was actually the right place for me to go because he had a lot of different, authentic, once again, maybe a little quirky, a little different, different styles that I'm actually into. Uh, so great, 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 great uh, a, a choice working with Stan Lyon. All right, now I'm calling the last Brian Mace. Ace is here. We're waiting for our arrival. Perfect on. What do you see for yourself? Like, what have you been? I see like something fitted. You know, I like to show my body a little bit. Yeah, that's sure. Sure. Boop. A little sexy, but not too too sexy. Yeah. So some lace. of those on that side look like, look kind of cute. Like, huh? I'm hearing lace. I do love I know, lace. I, I lace. do love lace. So, ladies, we're here to watch our Miss go from Miss to Mrs. Mrs. Amadi. We're so excited for you. You're so beautiful. You make a beautiful bride. You'll make a beautiful wife. And uh, we can't wait to see the little Amadi. Oh I can't get that. Oh Cheers! <laughs> from the sleekest, most fittest mermaids all the way up to the most poofiest ball gowns and they all range by designer. So please look around. Every inch of this place is covered in a gorgeous dress. Why? Why? Is it, is that a wall? Why? So it is a strap, but it's got like a shoe strap. Oh, that's gorgeous.
Oh, y'all see the little thing, little buttons in the yeah. middle down there? Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. I feel really good. So, what do you guys think? I love the back. Love the back. Yeah. And I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I second that. Um, it was more so. I like the clean look. Yeah. yeah. I love the, the pocket. 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 Where? Where did they go? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love the length of it. Yeah. And I actually do like the waist to fit in yeah. where the enough. It makes me feel like I have a very great quality dress on. Yeah. So. Yeah. I love the chest. Yeah. 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 For the say yes to the dress, I unfortunately wasn't able to make it, which I'm so sad about because I had to go that day because I live in Arizona, but I love AC so much, I come back for her all times, always. But anyway, um, from what I saw from it, it looked amazing. I think that the, the my favorite part about kind of catching up in our chat with our bridesmaids about, you know, how AC felt was just knowing that when she put her dress on, it was it. You know what I mean? It was something that she felt beautiful in. And I think that as a bride and kind of just going through everything that the bride goes through that I obviously don't even understand, um, but just having that moment that you can enjoy, especially with um, all of your bridesmaids and family being there for that moment for you, that's what I really liked. I did this in a very non-traditional way. And, and, and honestly, you gotta do what you feel like you wanna do. I'm gonna keep it real. So, when I first did my Say Yes to the Dress, I actually originally went with my mom and my uncle. 
And I did that because I wanted to be sure that I was going to look beautiful. And my mom has always been that one person in my life that's always been so constant that would tell me if it's good, bad, ugly. And her opinion means a lot to me. I needed for her to approve this dress. And so I took her with me. Um, and my wedding plans were actually there at that visit as well. My wedding plans are who actually told us where to go. And we went to the boutique in Columbia, which was the bomb. Okay, shout out to them. We went there and literally as soon as I put on a dress, I could tell the whole room, even the other people who were there trying on other, other dresses, they knew. The plan was to keep it a secret and to not tell the girls that had already did this dress fitting. I still wanted to experience this with the girls and I didn't want to like, sh you know, take it away from them. And so we still were able to do our say yes to the dress. And so I still tried on my multiple dresses. And when we got down to the last one, they loved it. It was the one. Next time on Amadi coming soon. Hello? Hey, you guys. How you doing? Hey, Ike. How are you? This makes with you. Yeah. Yeah, he's right here. What's up, Ike? What's going on? I just found out Montgomery County just reduced their guest count to like 25 people per venue. I know we already sent out invitations and everything, so... This is so horrible. We need to something. We're going to probably have to work out fast. How? Oh, my goodness.